This video shows how to create a bootable Mac OS operating system on a USB drive. First of all, I'm going to search for the latest operating system. In this case, it's Big Sur. I have a MacBook Pro with M1 processor, Apple Silicon, and I'm going to get the, the latest Mac OS Big Sur. This is 12.6 gigabytes, so it might take a little while to download. So it's going to look for any updates. It'll download. And then when it gets to the install stage, uh, we need to cancel. So we don't want to install any of the uh, updates here. We just want to get the application so that we can put it onto a USB drive and make it bootable. You might want to do this uh, you know, if you're going to be refreshing your computer, uh, giving it to somebody else, returning it, something like that. Uh, you know, create this so that um, you can have a fresh install. Okay, I have this USB drive. This one has 128 uh, gigabytes on it. And I'll go ahead and plug it in um, to my adapter. And then it's going to appear on the screen. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. In this case, I named it my USB drive. And... Um, now what I'm going to do is take my downloaded image and go to the terminal and just let's look at that first of all. We're going to navigate into that application and uh, let me make this just a little bit bigger so that you can see. Uh, so I just changed the directory to the root of the drive and now what I want to do is, is go and just look at the applications. Okay, these are the applications that have uh, downloaded, and I have this install Mac OS. You can use the tab complete, so hit tab, and then it uh, completes the rest of that with the spaces in there. And I'm going to go to contents, and uh, here in inside are some resources. Okay, and then when I do ls for listing the files that are in there. I want to go down to one that is create install media. That's the one that I'm going to use to create the installation, the bootable version of the Mac OS. Okay, so go ahead and just find that. Make sure it's there. And this should be the same for all operating systems. Most of the Mac OS releases have this same utility in there. Okay, now I want to just go and see the volume that I want to install it to. So I'm going to go back to uh, CD slash, change directory into volumes, and I'll see my USB drive. Okay, so that's the one where I want to create, uh, this is the one where I want to create the installable US, the installable Mac OS on the USB drive. So I'll need sudo applications. And then uh, I can hit tab to get some options there. If I forgot the name of it. And I want to just start with INST and then tab over. And then I have contents and then resources and then create install media. Okay, so it's kind of long, but tab complete really helps with that. And we'll do a dash dash volume and then do slash volumes slash and then the name of your USB drive. Now it's going to rename this, so it really doesn't matter what you name it right now. It's going to erase everything that's on there. And then what you need to do is go ahead and just put in your password. And then click confirm, which is Y for yes. And then it will erase the disk and then create your installable media. Now this one took just a little bit of time. You know, even though it's a USB 3.0. And it went pretty fast. Um, you know, it's 12.6 gigabytes and it's writing to it. And so I went ahead and just pause the video here. And then when we come back, we'll see uh, the rest of it in copying to disk. It took a, a long time for that. And then uh, making it bootable was the final stage of that. Okay, so um, here it is copying to disk. Uh, you're going to wait just a little bit of time, depending on the capability of your USB drive. Um, you know, if it's USB 2, it's going to take a long time. For that, uh, USB 3 is going to be much faster. Okay, so here it is making the disk bootable. 
and that's the final step for in making this an installable Mac OS uh, that's able to be booted from the USB drive. Now in the next video I'm going to create some additional instructions on how to uh, refresh your computer.